Skydio Flight Deck is the flight software equipped on your Skydio X10 controller that you will use to operate your drone. Let's take a look at where all of your settings are located. In the top left corner of the screen are your global settings. You can configure settings like flight controls, sensing and obstacle avoidance, return behavior, lighting, and much more. The global settings menu is followed by your display layout option, which we'll cover a little later, and your quick action menus. The first quick action menu allows you to cycle through the AR depth view, which allows you to see the obstacles that the drone sees through augmented reality. The second quick action menu allows you to adjust the drone's obstacle avoidance settings. On the right-hand side of the screen, you have your launch, return, and land options, as well as your autonomous flight behaviors, such as waypoints or track in place. Below that, you can find your map settings, thermal settings, and your video and photo settings. In the bottom right corner of the screen, you have your start, stop, record button. If you are in photo mode, this will appear as a shutter button. Finally, if you have any notifications during your flight, such as a wind warning or low battery warning, they will appear on screen. Your Skydio X10 controller is a ruggedized joystick controller with programmable buttons. Use your joysticks to control ascent, descent, and yaw as well as pitch and roll. You can change your control mode by selecting Global Settings Flight Controls. Control Mode 2 is the most common and is the default selection. Additional control modes are available to accommodate different flying styles. The right wheel on your controller controls your camera zoom. You also have the option to set your right wheel to adjust your exposure value instead, and the left wheel adjusts the camera gimbal pitch. The top right button, or R1, is your camera shutter button and will capture a photo or video. The top left button, or L1, is your boost button. While holding this button down, your drone will temporarily override your control sensitivity settings and fly at maximum speed. There are also five customizable buttons on your controller, three on the front and two on the back. Select Global Settings, Flight Controls to assign functions to these custom buttons, such as cycling through obstacle avoidance or camera modes. Here are the functions that you can map to these buttons. You can also choose to leave them unassigned. Mapping your controller buttons will help you become a safer and more productive pilot, allowing you to customize your controller to suit your specific mission needs. Telemetry data is vital to a safe and effective flight. You can customize your telemetry data to suit your needs and the needs of your mission. Enter your display settings and scroll to telemetry. Check any items you want to show up in your telemetry bar and uncheck any items you don't want displayed. For your first flight, we recommend enabling, altitude, heading, distance from controller or launch point, ground speed, obstacle avoidance, and wind speed and direction. Monitoring these during your flight will help you stay safe and will help you maximize your situational awareness. You have the option to use a single, split, or grid layout to display your color camera, thermal camera, and map feeds. When viewing the single layout, you will see a picture-in-picture, -picture, or PIP, in the bottom left of the screen. Choose which stream you'd like to see in the PIP and tap the PIP to switch between streams. When viewing a split or grid layout, use the on-screen buttons to configure how your camera, thermal, and map streams are arranged. Drag the middle handlebar to adjust the size of the displays. For more information about your Skydio X10 system, visit us at skydio.com forward slash support.